Hey everyone, and let's talk about, or rather, oh, I'm jumping the gun now. Hey everyone, and today I'm going to talk to you about C Sharp and Node. That's a funny compa fun comparison, isn't it? So basically, my experiences working with C Sharp are, I'm going to be honest, not as as massive as my time spent with Node. But I do try to be as objective as I can when I work, uh, w rather when I make these videos, because like my goal isn't to, isn't really to sell you on one of these languages. I you just really want to share my experiences working in these languages. And since I do always have the disposition of basically trying, like I, I like to see that every, I, I like to argue that every every language has something positive about it, something that adds value that very few, like few other languages may or may, may or may not have. And the, these two languages have two, like there's so many differences between them, so it's kind of like comparing pears and apples. But I will give it a try because I do think I have something that might be valuable to you, or rather an opinion, if you will. So let's start with C Sharp. What do I like about C Sharp? Well, I like, what I like about C Sharp is that, you know, it is, one of the absolute heavyweight champions of corporate life. It's actually to the point where here in Gothenburg, if you are a C-sharp developer or a Java developer, people lust for you here. Like literally, like you are in such high demand that it is absolutely, it's just ridiculous. It's uh, like every other person that contacts me for a job position is asking me if I know C sharp or dot net more specifically of but anywho so the the demand for the language is massive which means it is a really really good investment if you like you, you, you just let's ignore passion for a moment yes just, just let's just say that you're in in for it for the money you're into programming because you want to have a stable job and you just want to be able to work with something you may you may enjoy coding of course but you may not be like this freaky uh, super nerd like somebody you know some guy and you just want a job then java or c sharp in this scenario is the way to go I, hands down no question about it the demand for these two languages is so massive that it's just ridiculous and apart from that it has the best working environment on the market visual studio is probably the best ide there is in my opinion and I've been using IntelliJ Eclipse, and I've been using Android Studio. I most I, I'm not saying I've used every single one of them, but like this is a really nice one. We should do, and I'm just gonna be uh, go out here and say that I was a Java guy for like a really really long time, and there's almost this th tiny little rivalry between C Sharp and Java, and even I can admit that. Visual Studio is a pretty nice IDE and Visual Studio Code just happens to be my absolute favorite text editor so say about what you want about Microsoft but they really do developer experience well like really really well then we can talk about vendor lock-in and hardware especially like you know kind of owning things that's a that's a t another topic but that part they do really really well so apart from that C sharp lets you basically do everything. It's a. Uh, it, it, there's very little that you can't do. Like uh, if, if it's in fact, I actually argue that a lot. Like, uh, there's a lot of criticism going out towards C sharp and like the different Microsoft flavors of programming languages because Microsoft is very notoriously good at, and not just Microsoft. Mac, Apple does it as well at locking people into their environment and their hardware and some people like myself who you know we like freedom so we chose java when we were younger in our careers honestly i really like java i'm not saying i don't i'd love the freedom of choice and so forth but i can absolutely see that there is because when i was working in c sharp it was so nice to have if you just forgot about you know being mentally stuck in something and like because when you have a specific flat platform where all the tools the entire environment is optimized for one language for one like for one product basically 
it gets so powerful. I think that that's where Microsoft, like where C Sharp gets its strength because Microsoft has optimized for C Sharp and .NET and so forth. And because they have done that, they can give you more than most, like Java has nothing in comparison to what C Sharp has in terms of environmental support and like, and that's kind of where I'm coming from. I'm not saying it's a bad, I, I love Java. It's my first language. I absolutely love it. But C Sharp has so many great tools. Like it's, it's as I said, like you can spend the rest of your career in C Sharp. And then we have Node on the other hand, which is the absolute opposite. It's at maximum freedom. You have more stuff than in any other programming programming language it's the most mass like i mean it's javascript it's no it's the the absolute most popular tech piece of technology around it's been that way for a very long time and like the only rival it has that even is not worthy worthy isn't isn't javascript like that's the beauty of node like it, it's javascript it's the browser's language it has more packages than any any other repository any other like uh, repository service out there and it's extremely beginner friendly you can get started in minutes you don't have to pay for any licenses or anything like that it's all open sourced and yeah it's 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 like the opposite of corporate in a, in a way. It, it's not not corporate, but it's very a lot more liberal and open, if you will, than what you, you'll get from C Sharp and Microsoft and so forth. But that's not necessarily a good thing. I absolutely love Node. It, JavaScript is my absolute favorite language. Um, you know, I go between Go and and JavaScript. And even though I absolutely love it, sometimes I can feel this d fatigue over how much stuff there is. There's so much diversity. There's so much going on. I love it and I hate it at the same time. That's kind of why I think that C Sharp is a really good choice for the more cons like for people who just want to get stuff done, because you don't have to like you have your finger on the pulse of the whole IT world all the time, in, as you do have to have in Node and so forth. Not, you know, I might be exaggerating a little bit there, but that's kind of at least what I mean. I, I've never read, I've read a lot of articles which are titled something along the lines of how to deal with JavaScript fatigue. Never seen that for C Sharp ever. Anywho, let's compare them. When would you use one over the other? So I would say that if you are building something that requires a lot of stability. You require, maybe you're building an entire company Let's and your company's aim towards, it's not about open source, it's about money. It's about making, closing deals. It's about shipping value to clients. Maybe you're doing a consultancy type of thing or something like that, where the focus is that you need to be productive and your stuff needs to work. Then I think that you should go with C Sharp because it is optimized for that type of stuff. It was designed like it is. It is the. It's a language that has been around for so long and has. I mean, it's running half of the world's enterprise uh, enterprises. Well, that's a. I, I I just took that number out of the out of thin air, but it, it Microsoft knows corporate. They really know that stuff, and they do some really good work. If you are making your own personal project, if you let's say that you're a little bit more liberal and you, you, you want to get into programming or you want to basically, may, maybe your fo focus is more towards development speed and maximum, I don't know, I'm not going to say trendiness, but basically using something a little bit fresher than C Sharp and maybe going towards microservices, you're more interested in maybe making React applications, SBAs, that type of stuff, then I think Node is a really good choice for that. It's a, it's a very, very diverse language. Like uh, if, if you master Node, it's kind of sad in a way because it's so diverse and it's so useful in so many scenarios that you almost does you almost don't need it, anything else. Like you can do almost. No, I'm not saying everything is great to build in JavaScript, but Node can allow you to build almost anything. But that freedom, as I said, comes with a lot of cost. It is in order to be really good at Node, 
you do have to keep your, 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 you have to be in the loop because there's a lot of stuff changing and a lot of stuff happening. If you're more into, as I said, if you're more like into just shipping value, building things, and you're not so concerned about being the trendy, you know, the most trendy person in the world, then C Sharp is probably the choice to go with. If you are on the on the hand, other hand really passionate about coding, you're really into like status, you know, being involved in open source and being a part of an amazing community of people, then Node would be the stronger choice. That's what I would say anyway. But at the end of the day, the one thing that would make a difference for me would be if somebody asked me to build a enterprise which requires me to have a lot of focus on stability, especially if I need to work with money or banks or anything like that, C-sharp every single day of the week because it will do that for me and I can trust that technology. If I'm building almost anything else, I just want to prototype, I want to build things fast since I do know Node, that's going to be my, my first choice because I'm going to be able to, at least personally, move faster in Node. Those are my opinions on these two languages. Hope you have a great day.